I'm proud of what we did. There's nothing that I would have done any differently. A powerful business owner says accusations he mishandled a $200 million project are false, and he says he made a special video just to prove it. In his first in-depth interview, he talks to Team 10 investigator Allison Ash about the serious claims against him. We have nothing to hide. Everything is very transparent. Yehudi Gaffin's company, Gafcon, manages some of the biggest projects in San Diego and Southern California. It's one of four companies that oversees $5.1 billion for the San Diego Unified School District. GAFCON spends your tax dollars working with construction projects, such as updating air conditioning in schools. It also manages hundreds of millions in tax money at the Grossmont Union High School District. I think all of our projects are like kids. They're all dear to me, however big or small they are. Now, one of its projects is under the financial microscope. The plans were huge. A two-and-a-half-mile man-made canyon, a state-of-the-art amphitheater. But these things and others were never built in Orange County's Great Park. A forensic audit is underway looking at how GAFCON and other companies spent more than $200 million. I believe ultimately the truth will prevail, and this uh, video we felt was the best way for us to get that truth out. The video you are about to see is... Here's that video. As it waits for the forensic audit results to be released, GAFCON says this proves accusations made in an earlier audit are false. It uses public statements. Kind of blown over by the fact that they knew what they were doing. From public meetings over the last several years. And what has confounded me is how now there's this revisionist uh, history to try and show that this wasn't done right. For example, auditors said GAFCON was not properly checked out before it was hired. GAFCON says that's not true. By showing a video clip of Irvine City Council talking about the company, and the selection process. So they knew what they were getting into when they hired you? Absolutely, and if you look at the video, you'll see the city council talking about the vetting process and actually saying how blown away they were by the work GAFCON did on the project. They also said that invoices submitted by GAFCON were insufficient. Why would the auditors say that? I have no idea. I believe it's patently false. Our invoices on this project were beyond the standard for the industry. Some of the invoices were a foot thick with all the backup that had to go in with them. Auditors said GAFCON wields political power. Team 10 found Gavin has made legal political donations in Orange County and also in San Diego. Some donations have been to help pass the taxpayer-approved propositions his company now manages. We give money to organizations uh, both politically and philanthropically that we feel aligned with, that are doing good things for our region. And I'm never going to stop that. It's very much part of our DNA and part of what we do. The final forensic audit is due any day, and Gaffin says he's ready. I believe the truth will prevail. Our website shows that. And I can't wait till that gets done and we put that behind us and can move on to business as usual. With Team 10, I'm investigator Allison Ash. Some people saw GAFCON's video before it was posted online, including the staff of Senator Dianne Feinstein. Her spokesman told Team 10 there is no federal connection to the Great Park project, and her office responds to all meeting requests, not just GAFCON's request. See more of our interview with Gaffin and the GAFCON video on 10news.com.